primero cuando estamos haciendo nosotros los tamales polacos. The first thing to do when you are making Polish tamales is you got to prepare all of your ingredients. And so uh, it requires all the ingredients to be finely chopped. Tienes que prepararte todos los ingredientes. No, hay picarlos. Yo estoy ahorita picando la cebolla. No, lleva la cebolla eh, regular y la cebolla uh, esta. Ok, entonces, it, it, it takes the, the regular uh, onion and this type of sweet onion. Ok, and so, just chop, chop the ingredients. No, quítele el rabo a la cebolla. No. Hay que quitarle rabo a todos los ingredientes y uh, no la cebolla no tan chiquita, no tan grande, del tamaño regular. Okay, not too large, not too small. Uh, go ahead and chop all the ingredients, okay? Chop it all up. There you go. And then set the ingredients aside when you're going to be preparing the masa. Y los pones a un lado y después los envuelves en la masa. Y ya tienes la cebolla picada y los chiles poblanos. So you have your, your onions all chopped up and your poblano peppers all chopped up, all ready to go in. And then you're, you have, you use corn, corn, just frozen corn is all I put in, okay? Frozen corn and then you need to have uh, carrots. And I just buy them like this, all shredded from the store. And they're very nice, even, you know. And then the other thing is, that you're gonna need is spinach. Entonces, ocupas la zanahoria para poner uh, el elote, ya que mostré el elote, y también la espinaca, la espinaca, okay? And then the spinach. The spinach is very important because it has iron. It's very good for you. And then afterward, you put all those ingredients into the masa. Y después envuelves todos estos ingredientes en la masa. Y ahí les voy a seguir mostrando cómo. You tell me. So, right now the process continues of making our wonderful tamales. First, you gotta have about uh, 13 pounds, this is how much it is here, of the maseca flour. The maseca flour. Ocupas eh, 13 libras, 3 paquetes, 3 packets of the maseca flour. Uh, 3 paquetes de la maseca, de 3 bolsas, 13 libras. Y, eh, we are uh, putting together now the dry ingredients. And uh, first, you need uh, about 15 teaspoons of salt. So, you know, 15 teaspoons, okay? There you go. Okay, just, you know, just use your judgment. <laughs> Okay, and then, <laughs> then you need some uh, 15, 15, eran 15 cucharaditas de sal, okay? Pero ustedes ahí midan según su, su, su pensamiento. Así como si les gusta salado, pues le echen más. Okay, y luego el royal, then baking powder, also 15 uh, teaspoons, okay? So 15 teaspoons there, okay? Put the... Put the, the baking powder into the dry ingredients and then you gotta mix it, mix it real well and have some, uh, have some room temperature water ready. Room temperature, not hot water, not cold water because if you have hot water, it's gonna ruin the thing and if it's cold water, it's also gonna ruin it. So, you know, I'm speaking here from experience. Okay, so to these 13 pounds of flour, now mixed with salt. I always think it maybe needs a little more salt, okay? Because, you know, we all need salt. We are the salt of the earth, the Bible says, right? And so, un po eh, en revuelves todos los ingredientes secos, sal y el royal y la maseca, no? Y lo, los revuelves muy, muy bien. 
y uh, un poquito más de sal siempre no hace daño porque nosotros somos la sal de la tierra, ¿ok? Y la sal, se ocupa la sal. ¿Se imaginan ustedes algo sin sal? ¡Ay no, qué feo! Y luego le añades agua, pero agua a tiempo, no agua caliente ni agua fría. ¿Ok? Acuérdense, porque van a arruinar sus tamales con agua caliente o agua fría. Tiene que ser agua a tiempo. Room temperature water, remember, very important. Like this much right now, ¿ok? And you kind of got to see to make sure that it has the right consistency. ¿Ok? So add the water first, ¿ok? You add the water and you got to bring it all together real nicely, ¿no? And this is the part where you get all your frustrations up. Esta es la parte donde se te pueden salir todas tus frustraciones. Y ahí le tienes que envolver ¿no? el agua al, a, a la masa. You gotta put together the ingredients. And this is absolutely fantastic. It's also really good exercise. Okay, go ahead. Thank you so much. We gotta put more. Thank you, Margarita, for... More water. We need more water. Absolutely. And get right in there. Ocupamos nosotros más y más agua. Y lo sigues envolviendo. Okay. Ya tienes tus ingredientes secos y los sigues, sigues batiendo. Es sumamente importante. Y vas viendo. So now this is the second one now. Second big jar. I think this is a... Uh, one gallon. So now this, this took two gallons of water. Eran ya dos galones de agua. ¿Te imaginas cuánta agua? No, porque tienes que revolverlo. La maseca con ya dos galones de agua. Y vas viendo, así como para una masa para tortillas. Tiene que ser esa misma consistencia, como para tortillas. ¿Ok? Y ahí, vete revolviendo ok, todo eso Ay. ok ya yo veo que está un poquito seca todavía, entonces ocupamos más, otro galón de agua otro galón entonces ya van tres galones que estamos echando now there's three gallons in here, three gallons of water so you gotta kind of because, you know, it all depends flowers are very uh, they're very unique because it depends on the on the humidity in the air of the place where they're at so you know I mean depends on where you're living it's how much water they they're gonna absorb so that's that's how it is you know dependiendo de donde vives cuanta agua la maseca va a absorber porque todo depende de la humedad en donde eh, estás viviendo tú nosotros aquí estamos, hoy está un poquito seco el clima, está eh, bien caliente, entonces que por eso que ocupaba más agua, ¿no? Ok, este es el, solamente era el, el tercer, tres, uh, tres, tres galones de, de agua que hemos echado a todo esto, ok, ya tres galones, it's just three three gallons so that you know okay actually not quite three gallons I would say maybe two gallons and uh, so now after about 15 minutes of working the masa and remember you have to spend time with it you know uh, después de como 15 minutos batiendo la masa la tienes que batir bien okay para que esté bien batida Nada de huevono, huevonas o huevones no en hacer la masa, ¿ok? Nada de perezosos. No, you can't be lazy, ¿ok? You gotta, you gotta really, and nothing with no kitchen aid here, ¿ok? The machine. You gotta do it with your hands, otherwise it's gonna be missing the secret ingredient, which is love. Nada de máquinas para que les baten. Ustedes tienen que batir con sus manos para que tenga el ingrediente secreto y eso es el amor. Ya vamos a ir eh, envolviendo uh, uh, los chiles y las cebollas. So we put the poblano peppers 
and the red onions and the regular onions. Cebollas rojas y cebollas uh, regulares, dulces, ¿ok? Uh, y vas in, eh, envolviendo. Puedes echar ¿no? eh, de lo que más quieres, ¿ok? No, ¿Cuántos ingredientes? Bueno, pues si quieres más masa, no les eches tanto vegetal. If you want more masa, then don't put so many vegetables. I like more vegetables, ¿ok? So we, we put in more vegetables, but that all depends on you. How many, you know, how many peppers, how many onions you want to put in, it's all up to you. If you like it really oniony, then you know, put more. If you like more red onions, then put more red onions, but I kind of like them um, mixed. No, a mí me gustan uh, más vegetales, no? Y nosotros ahí envol en envolvimos. Okay, vas envolviendo, and you gotta really fold it real well. So you really gotta mix it super well. Okay, get all the ingredients in there because it has to be evenly distributed. Tiene que estar distribuido uh, todo, no? Todos los ingredientes tienen que ser distribuidos. Por eso tienes que envolver todos los ingredientes. No, después le echas zanahoria. Todo depende cuánta zanahoria quieres, no? Then you put the carrots in. How much carrots? Well, it all depends on you. How carroty do you want it? No, ¿qué tal zanahoriado lo, lo, lo quieres? Okay, todo depende de ti. Cuánta zanahoria. Ya ven, nosotros estamos echando mu muchos vegetales, no? Y hay, vete batiendo, no? Meta tus manos. Put your hands in there and Keep, keep it, keep it going, okay? Bátele. No, todo, para que todo sea envuelto. Tienes que envolverlo, todo. No, put your hands in there and keep, keep doing it. You gotta really, really mix it. That's the secret, with your hands in there. Oh. I never thought I would be the tamalero priest. Nunca pensé que iba a ser el padre tamalero. Pero eso es lo que pasa. A veces la vida nos enseña no las cosas. Y bueno, y ahora le pones también el elote. Now the corn, okay? Frozen corn, unfreeze it because, you know, get it to room temperature. Otherwise your hands are gonna hurt. Um, eh, elote congelado, pero descongélalo porque te van a doler las manos con elote congelado. Ya estoy hablando yo de experiencia. Ok, y ahí sigue envolviendo los ingredientes con todos los vegetales. Le sigues envolviendo. Ok, y ahí le, le sigues envolviendo. Todos los ingredientes. El próximo ingrediente es espinaca. Then you put the spinach in. Lots of spinach because it has lots of iron. Le pones espinaca porque eh, trae mucho hierro. Que es súper, súper, súper saludable. Ahí echamos un poquito más. No, no, more spinach. So, Lots of spinach. These are good and healthy, healthy tamales. Okay, so you can feel good about eating these Father Adam's tamales. These Polish tamales, you can feel good about eating them because they've got wonderful ingredients. Superb ingredients, healthy. No, te puedes sentir bien comiéndolos porque son sumamente saludables porque estás comiendo mucho vegetal, mucho vegetal. Hay que comer cosas saludables. Y ahí sigues envolviendo, ¿ok? So you put the spinach in, and now you just gotta work it, completely work it. You gotta keep, keep doing this. Probably another 15 minutes of just working it. Because you have to get all the ingredients super, super mixed in. 15 minutos de revolver, ¿no? Entonces, ahí le sigues. 
y después ya que tienes todo bien batido, bien envuelto, ya puedes hacer los tamales, envolver los tamales en las hojas. Then once you have all the ingredients well mixed, then you can start the process of putting the tamales together and that's going to be our next step. So here we are, this is the next step, esta es la eh, próxima parte en la producción de los tamales y aquí me tienen como ven ustedes negriando y nadie me quiere ayudar, pero todo para el amor a Dios y a todos ustedes. All of this, this is not easy, believe me, to make this part is a lot of work. I mean, this is a lot of work and you get all your frustrations out and you put a lot of love into it as I have. I put so much love into these tamales. And so here, you put the masa, ponen la masa, así como una cucharada, en la hoja, into the corn husk. So you buy these corn husks in the store. If you can't get them in the regular, like Walmart, in the Mexican section, go to a Mexican store, okay? Y ahí lo pones. And ponlo no, no así para abajo, sino para arriba, okay? Don't put it all the way down, put them up, because not down, but like up here, okay? Like that, all right? Make sure it's all there, and then fold it, y lo envuelves, okay? And be generous, all right? We always want to be generous. Serán, eh, eh, sean generosos con la masa que ponen adentro y con el relleno. Hay que ser generosos, no tacaños, nada de codos. And then fold it over. Y lo envuelven así, you know, fold one part over and then the other part over, and then fold, fold this, okay? Y ya que lo envuelven, le doblan la cola. Siempre hay que doblarle la cola, okay? And there you have a perfect tamale. And you put them, you stack them like this, all right? You have to stack them nicely, like I'm stacking them here. And so here. Take a leaf, as I've been doing. Now you gotta uh, put these leaves in some warm water. They gotta soak, so soak the leaves. Tienen que remojar la hoja, okay? No, no, no recién sacada del paquete. Don't just take it out of the package and then do it. You gotta soak the leaves and then put the masa, the, the filling, put it up here on top, okay? Put it on top like that. Uh, be generous, okay? And fold it. Sean generosos, ¿no? Y lo envuelven. Así, así, así. Okay? Y siempre doblele la cola. Así. Y ahí tienes un tamalote. Esto sí es el tamalote. Nada de tacaños. Ay, no. ¿A quién le va a tocar ese? Okay. So, kind of, you know, the size of them depends on what the leaf is like. Because some of them are not so good. Okay? El tamaño del, tam, uh, del tamal depende de, de cómo está la hoja. A veces te salen re malas las hojas. Ok. Doblele la cola y sas, tienes el próximo tamal. Ok. Y la producción continúa. Uh, and you could put some nice music on, some Christian music. I, I usually put really nice Christian music on. You know, yo me pongo una música de alabanza, alabando a Dios. Escuchando la música y haciendo tamales. Y así, ¿no? And you do it all with lots and lots of love. So, here, you know, I'm kind of trying to find a good, uh, a good corn husk. There, okay, there you go. See, that's a really nice one. All right, put it in your hand like that. Now, they've been soaking, remember, son remojadas. Put the filling like that. Okay, be generous, fold it, and there you go, okay. Everybody knows that Father Adam, when it comes to making tamales, is very generous with the filling, okay. There you go, so you don't just get a corn husk, like sometimes, okay. Hay que ser generosos, y hay. Lo pones así, y lo envuelves, así. Y le dobles la cola. Quizás tienes un tamal. Okay. So, we'll be back 
to show you how to cook them in just a little bit. So the production continues. As you can see, we've got lots of them already. Look at this. Uh, look how many I've made already. That's a lot, okay? So this is, uh, you know, painstaking work, but um, it's rewarding work because you do it for your family or as I'm doing this for all of you, you know, and uh, it's very rewarding, very rewarding. So you just continue, as I told you, keep folding them over and this will take you probably an hour or two. It's not, uh, it's not a short process. No, eso te va a tomar tiempo, pero todo no por el amor. No, es muy fácil ir, ir a McDonald's en el drive-thru y, y quizás comprar algo, pero para hacer comida sí, sí cuesta, no si sí te desgastas. It's easy to go through the drive-thru at McDonald's and just get food. But in order to make good food for, for your loved ones, it's absolutely wonderful. Now these freeze fabulous. They're like hot pockets. You can freeze them and then just take one out and then you have great, a great meal. You take them out, you can steam them or you can put them in the microwave with a little bit of water and they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, no, esos se congelan fabulosamente. No, uh, los, los tienes en el congelador y después los sacas y sas, tienes, uh, tienes uh, comida ya hecha y lista para comer. Okay? Cuidado para no desbaratar las hojas. No, be careful not to uh, hurt the, the, um, the leaves, the corn leaves, the, the husks. Okay? Let's move a little bit more. There. See, I'm always very generous. And there you go. What a tamale. Ooh, that's a que tamalote. Okay? So, uh, fantastic tamales. Polish tamales. Vegetable tamales. Actually, these are vegan because there's, they're all vegan ingredients in here. Fabulous. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, and then we'll show you how to cook them. Well, we are here with the finished product. Aquí estamos nosotros con el producto ya hecho, los tamales. Entonces, los tamales los tienes que poner así como yo los estoy poniendo para que se cocinen al vapor. You have to steam them. You, you steam the tamales once they're done. So, put them here like this. Así los tienes que poner, ok? No los apachures. Don't... Uh, uh, don't splash them. Be gentle. Very gentle. Sea gentil. ¿Ya ven? Soy yo aquí como el Speedy González. No, nadie me alcanza para hacer tamales. Y así los pones eh, en donde, donde quiera que tengas. No, en, eh, tú para cocinar al vapor, para vaporearlos. Ok. Y uh, uh, ahí lo llenas. Así. So you gotta put it like this, exactly. Just put them all together. And then, uh, an hour and a half. Una hora y media. Se tienen que cocinar, ok? Los cocinas una hora y media. Y después los sacas y dejas que se enfríen un poquito. Ok, o sea, se tienen que uh, así. Uh, quedar quietos un poquito porque no los puedes comer luego luego y así de bien calientes ¿me entiendes? ok entonces uh, once you take them out once you've steamed them what you have to do is you gotta let them rest a little bit ok you can't just uh, eat them right out from the uh, right out of the steaming. You have to let them sit, sit a while, and then take them, take them, and then enjoy them. They're absolutely fabulous. I just eat them like this. I mean, I don't put anything on, okay? These don't need anything, seriously. 
They don't need anything. They are just absolutely delicious. Son deliciosos. Ok? Así que a todos mis amigos uh, amantes del arte culinario, les presento los tamales. Now is the time to cook our tamales. Ahorita es el tiempo de cocinar los tamales. Las hojas que se te quedaron, las chiquitas, las pones encima, ¿no? Para que no se te eh, vaya el vapor, el calor. Okay, so the small little leaves that are left over, kind of arrange them all around on top, like that, because that will prevent uh, the heat to escape. So, Uh, go ahead and arrange the leftover small little leaves that you didn't use for the uh, cooking process and arrange them all over, or like that, you know, put them all, all around, no, en, en todo, así, no, lo tapes todo, absolutamente todo, ahí los estás tapando, y now let's go and we're going to transfer the tamales into the uh, kitchen, no, y uh, los pones a cocinar. Uf. Necesito ir más al gimnasio, yo, I gotta go more to the gym. Uf. Okay, so, now, you've got your hot boiling water. Tienes tu agua hervida, hirviéndose. Be careful so you don't burn your arms, no, ten cuidado que no te quemes, okay? Yo sé que muchas de ustedes hasta queman agua por no saber eh, cómo cocinar, pero bueno, ok. Ay, así, lo destapes. That's how you take it off, so you don't burn yourself. Ok, and then, hour and a half, boiling water. Now, you put it on there very carefully, ok. Very carefully, just like that. Close it. Say a prayer. Bless tamales. Tamales bendecidos. So now we have the finished product. So they've been cooking for an hour and a half. Se están eh, ya una hora y media cocinando. Entonces tengan mucho cuidado en cómo destapen ustedes la olla. Be very careful in how you lift it up. So you see, this is like Speedy Gonzalez. Es como Speedy Gonzalez, ¿verdad? Bien rápido se cocina. Y a ver, leva, la levantas así, ¿ok? Y destapes las hojas y ahí agarras un tamal, ¿ok? Pero con mucho cuidado para que no te quemes, ¿ok? Para que no te quemes. Be very careful so that you don't burn yourself. Then take and lift one out. And then here it is. Here's the finished product. Right there. Now I told you that you have to wait until it sets. Les dije que tienen que esperarse para, para comerlo, pero no más para que vean. Ya está cocido. Okay. It's all cooked. Yeah, I just checked it. Absolutely. This is the finished product. Mm. Delicious, but it's not ready to be eaten because it has to set a little bit. Se tiene que formar un poquito adentro, ok? Mm. Pero está riquísimo. Delicioso. Mm. Well, here I am with the finished product. The ones that I made. Veggie tamale. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Aquí estoy yo con los tamales que yo hice están deliciosos sabrosísimos vegetales ay qué rico no no saben que se están 